Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing this week's Odyssey called Valentine's Day. We're taking Quincy, Dart Monkey, two cans, attack shooter, one sniper, one sub, one bu uh, buccaneer, one plane, one mortar, one wizard, two druids, two alex, and two villages. Alright, let's head into it. First map is Candy Falls. Pretty easy. We're going to start off with a three, two, Zero tag shooter in that second loop. Yeah, I tried a village, but it does not fit. So right on top of that lollipop, we're just gonna do a three-two-zero tag. And we're just gonna save up for a ring of fire. We get it, easy peasy. And then we're gonna get a D camo mortar, which is gonna be an O two three. But we're gonna get an O O three first. And we're gonna target it right on that first bend. And we're gonna get signal flare, the faster reloading. That way we decamo all the balloons and we won't have to worry about any uh, camos from now on once we get this rapid reload. Then we're just gonna get the classic 101 sniper to take care of the Moab that's coming. But we're gonna upgrade to a 102 and then a 202. And then we were actually have enough money for deadly precision. So 302 for the Moab and it is done for. Next we're gonna place just a discount village. So a 102 with the larger radius and then get Chogum drums, uh, which is gonna be a 202. I don't know why I said Chogum drums so weird. We we're gonna get the primary like little scroll. So it's gonna be a 302. I'm just gonna save up for uh, primary uh, mentoring, which will be a 402. Then it gets pretty easy from here. Right below the lollipop on the stick, we're gonna get a 204 on close. That way, the cluster bombs do damage over that loop area. Uh, and, you know, just get the 204 recursive cluster by around 50. And then also, we're gonna place one right on the edge of the river, but on top of the first track, we're gonna put on strong, and it's gonna be a 032 Moab Mauler. Then just add a 401 Alchemist, you know, by around 52. We're obviously sk skipping around here, but this is just the order you need things. And then on Route 53, we're gonna start saving up for just a middle path druid with the hard thorns cross path and then we should have a 240 by round 57 add another 401 elk and you pretty much won we're just gonna get a moab assassin and then at this point you've won the game you're gonna have a bunch of extra money you're gonna have ten thousand dollars to spend it on whatever you'd like you know get a little creative have some fun on this odyssey we're also just gonna you know try and get the the no hero achievement for you as well. We don't really need Quincy, but if you want to use Quincy, you can because we got that extra. We're gonna have extra money on all these maps. So on this one, it's gonna be ported. So the windows of the sub should line up with that brick there. Like there's two bricks in the middle. There should be like four bricks there. Line up the windows of the sub with the two bricks, and then we're just gonna get a plutonium reactor with the middle path cross path, and we're gonna get the, the lead poppy power. So four two zero. Then once we get a, just a 002 discount village, we're going to place a tech shooter all the way at the very top of that little square. And we're going to start upgrading it to a 204 overdrive. Yeah, this week's Odyssey was not is not too bad. It's going to be the last map that's going to be the killer. It's luckily not as boring as last week's Odyssey. and I edited it down way quicker. But yeah, after that, we're just gonna get a, a 320 Alchemist for the round 40 Moab coming very quickly. Since all the balloon speed is increased on this Odyssey. And then once we get the 300 Alk, we're just gonna get a Druid right in that middle square with the attack shooter. We're just gonna do a 110. Just a very simple little thing there that changes it and then now the elk is also gonna be 320 and we start gonna get the vines once we get the vines upgrade we're just gonna save up get the jungles bounty 
with the laser, the little laser shock. And we're just gonna save up to a three two, uh, four two zero elk. We're gonna upgrade that. And then from here, it is easy peasy. We're just gonna start upgrading the top path of the village. And we're gonna upgrade it all the way to primary mentoring. You'll notice a little theme here. We usually go sub into tech, elk, and druid, and that will win all these maps. But then, around 62, you should get the tack zone after the primary mentoring. On around 77, just upgrade primary mentoring to primary expertise, and you're good. You can have a bunch of money to waste. I just added another alchemist above the primary expertise, but you could place Quincy if you want to. We all know Quincy's the best hero, so I brought him in. He's going to do a lot of work for us. But again, if you want the no hero during an Odyssey achievement, just don't use any hero. I just I just place down Quincy sometimes just to be a, you know, just to have him on my side. You don't want to get on Quincy's bad side. You don't want to be a naughty boy when it comes to Quincy. He'll, he'll find you. Anyways, <laughs> on to the next map. We're going to be starting again with the little Bluntonium Reactor, but this time yeah, we're going to be able to afford it all the way with a 420. If I, oh yeah, there we go. And then I'm going to put this tax shooter right under here in the bottom left corner of this intersection. And we're just going to, we're honestly just going to upgrade this all the way to an overdrive once again. So we're just going to start out with a 203. And then we're gonna wait to get the overdrive and it's gonna be like, I don't know, like in the 30s before we get the overdrive. So I'll just, you know, enjoy your time. Jay chillin'. But yeah, this took a lot of time to edit for some reason. I think I was just way too tired and I had so much college classes and homework. So sorry the Odyssey video is like, 20 hours too late, but oh well. Oh well. We finally got out. Anyways, once we get the overdrive, we're gonna upgrade it to, you know, the classic 300 elk. I just place it under the overdrive. And then we should have enough money to get a 320, which is good. And then we're gonna start getting our wizard on the top right section after the 320. Just gonna place our wizard down and we're gonna make it a 220 wizard before the Moab comes and we're gonna put the wall of fire right on the intersection and this will all work out extremely well or 120 and put it right on the intersection yeah there we go you could get a 220 you have enough money for it yeah there we go 220 put it on the intersection and this will, this will kill the Moab easy peasy. Because we're not doing monkey knowledge for any of these runs. So if you do have monkey knowledge, you know, throw down your feet on monkey. Uh, you know, get stuff for cheaper. Life is good if you have monkey knowledge. But this is just so everyone can beat it easy. Now that we beat the Moab, we're going to put a village right in between the sub and the wizard. And we're gonna make it a 200. Just get the jungle drums. And then we're gonna upgrade to the, the primary expertise. No, not primary expertise. Primary training. So, and then primary mentorship. Once we get the P mentorship, we're gonna put this on strong. And we give it extra range and frag bombs. So, an 032 Moab Mauler right next to the overdrive and then we're just going to save up for a 420 alc which will lead us right in to a moab assassin then we're going to remove that little sculpture there and we're just going to put um, a recursive cluster and we're going to put it on close so it always explodes on the intersection or most of the time and yeah, 204 recursive cluster, you know, we're, we're doing a pretty run in the mill strategy here. And then you add another alchemist, and you're gonna get uh, Dragon's Breath on that wizard. And once you get Dragon's Breath and the alchemist, it's over, but I figured might as well be safe and get an aircraft carrier. So I just did a 420 buccaneer, 
And then the most essential part of this run was placing Quincy. You know, I couldn't have done it without him, so I upgraded him to level 4, level 3. Ah, I just love Quincy. Yeah, he carried it. He did a ton of damage to that BFB right there. Either way, next that, we're going to start out with just an 004. Don't upgrade the cross pass just yet, or else we can't afford our camo detection. And our lead poppy power, which we're all going to get with this mortar here. So we're going to get the signal flare, which is going to be the 003. So just save up for signal flare here. And once we get signal flare, then we can upgrade to even faster shooting on the tack shooter. But we want to make sure we can afford this uh, third tier bottom path on the mortar first. Then we go get the faster shooting. And then we'll switch back onto the mortar and we'll get faster shooting for that as well. And then we're going to be set for camo. We won't have to worry about it until later. Once we have enough. The money's a little slow on this map. So we have to wait. But then we're just going to get a 1... Uh, sorry, not a 1. A 320 Alchemist to buff that overdrive in the middle. It's just going to be on the right hand of the water side. But we're going to leave the big spaces for later. For uh, different monkeys. Like, we're going to put the cluster bomb on the left side. Uh, I would much rather have placed this cluster bomb a bit more in the middle. So that's a uh, mistake by me. But you guys can always place it more in the middle. And just put it on close so we're always shooting into the circle. And we're going to upgrade it to a cluster bomb. And that should be just in time for the Moab, so we're going to get bigger bombs. And then if we can afford it, oh we can't, but then we're going to get even bigger bombs. And then we should just be able to save up money now to recursive cluster on round 44. And save up some more money for a village. And we're just going to do, you know, the same thing. Now unfortunately, since I placed my recursive cluster a little too high, the village doesn't reach it, but it doesn't matter. The village doesn't need to. It'd just been nice if it did. And we're just going to save up for primary mentoring with no cross path, just the primary mentoring. Once we get primary mentoring, we can get the fourth tier elk. And then we're just going to save up from here. Then by tax zone, you should be able to get on round 63. And then we realize we can't fit another. Uh, recursive cluster, that's okay, because all we need is a druid in that little top uh, notch. And we are going to get a uh, 240 druid. But first, I'm just going to upgrade the village to camo and sell the mortar. And then at $6,000, we will get a 240 druid. But yeah, you can sell the mortar once we upgrade the, the village to a uh, 420 since then it'll be able to give camo to almost everything besides the cannon. But then all we're gonna have to do now is save up for again primary expertise and then now the ca uh, the cannon is gonna be seen by the village all as well. I placed down another Quincy because I couldn't do it without him. I got him to round 7. I uh, mean level 7. I think I even got him to level 8. I think you know without him I would have never killed those ZMGs. So I'm very happy to have Quincy on this Odyssey run. This one's a little difficult, so we're just going to have to do two Druids on the left side of the top and uh, bottom bush, and then kind of at the top right of the lake, as close to the track as you can get, we're going to place down a, a 001, so just a faster shooting sniper on first, and then we're going to upgrade to even faster shooting. And then once we get shrapnel shot, it's going to get a little easier. So we're just going to save up for a shrapnel shot. And again, the start here is a little rough. But once we get past round 40, it's going to be way easier. I promise. But yeah. Um, definitely got some live streams planned for tonight. My secret achievement video is still being edited. Uh just because of college and stuff, I've been tired, but I've been trying my best to edit everything. Today was pretty nice for editing, got to cut up everything. 
But yeah, now that we're done with Shrapnel Shot, we can save up for two Middle Path. We're gonna bo upgrade both Druids uh, to, you know, a zero, 0-3-0, zero, the Vines. And then we're gonna do that to the bottom one. And then once we both get Vines, then they're both gonna get the Hard Thorns Cross Path. So I just upgraded my top to bottom first. And just cause, you know, top to bottom, left to right, that's just how I saw it, but it doesn't matter. And then next we're going to put a Buccaneer right, right, right in the center. And we're just going to get the long range upgrade so it can see all the paths. And then we're just going to upgrade middle path until round 40 so we can get the ability. And yeah, we're just going to wait. We're going to leak a few lives here. It's okay. It's the last map. You know, that's the reason we haven't lost any lives until now is because it's an expert map. And, you know, got to do what you got to do when the balloon speed is this high on a sh super short map. But yeah, then we're gonna be able to get the middle path here and then get your crow's nest so you can see camo. And then we're just gonna use that ability on the fortified Moab. I got a little distracted. I forgot it was around 40, but make sure you do it. Uh, you know, you don't miss it. Like, I almost missed it. I still got it in time, but I was a little careless because we're going to be putting a 022 wizard on that right bush now. And then after that, we're going to upgrade to a semi auto sniper. And then after that, we're going to get a crossbow monkey. But we're also, uh, I didn't show it in the video, but you also want to get a uh, dragon's breath on your wizard before you get your full auto. So make sure to get the dragon's breath on the wizard before you get your full auto. Once you get the Dragon's Breath and the Full Auto, you're going to place a village in between that top druid, the boat, and the Full Auto Sniper, and we're just going to get Jungle Drums. And now everyone should be shooting a lot faster, and then we're going to Elk Buff the Sniper and the boat just by putting it between the two. And uh, you don't have to use the boat ability anymore, I just do it to be safe. I actually don't really use abilities in this run, just... If you want to use the abilities, it'll just help you out. But I made sure to do it without abilities just to be safe. And then you can sell the uh, bottom druid and the dart monkey to buy elite sniper when you need, like round 60 ish. And then just upgrade to a 240 druid and you've won. You've won, but I put a never miss uh, plane just to be sure to close out these final rounds. And then I save my ace up my sleeve for this final last round. I placed down Quincy in an optimal spot so we could hit every track. Upgraded to level 3 and yeah. No, it's just look at Quincy destroy that BFD. But yeah, that's another free 50 trophies plus 400 monkey money. Yeah, Odysseys aren't the funnest, but that's why I made this quick little guide for you. So yeah.